New at 6 tonight, DNA forensics has led to a murder conviction being overturned for a Central Coast man. Jack Sagan spent more than three decades in prison after being convicted for the 1985 murder of a Monterey woman. Tonight, his attorneys and Monterey County prosecutors are speaking out. Action News reporter Felix Cortez joins us with more on their reaction. Well, Sagan's attorneys worked 17 years to get that conviction overturned. Prosecutors may soon have to decide whether they plan to retry him or set Sagan free. 73-year-old Jack Sagan has spent the last 33 years in prison for the murder of Paula DeRocher at this Monterey apartment complex in 1985. Just days ago, an appeals court overturned his conviction. We've been actively working on his case for 17 years. So to say that we've been um, praying for this day to happen is, is an understatement. They're not saying he's innocent. What they're saying is, is, is they're not, you know, they think it's more likely than not that, that one juror could have voted differently. The sixth appellate court cited new DNA testing while overturning the verdict after lawyers from the Northern California Innocence Project showed Sagan's DNA was absent from the victim's fingernails and other crime scene evidence. More than three decades ago, prosecutors got a murder conviction based in part on the testimony of two jailhouse informants who said Sagan confessed to the crime. We needed DNA evidence in this case because that was the only evidence that really could could trump the claims of these jailhouse informants, which, which of, of course, is often incentivized, um, self-motivated um, testimony. In issuing their ruling, the appellate judges said based on the new evidence, it is more likely than not that at least one juror would have maintained a reasonable doubt regarding guilt. They added that DNA evidence from an unknown male found in the victim's nails is powerful evidence the victim was killed by someone other than Jack Sagan. That this was the evidence that um, more likely than not would have convinced the jury not to convict Mr. Sagan back in 1986. Monterey County prosecutors may soon have to decide whether to set Sagan free or retry the decades old case. And hope that people are gonna be able to remember what they need to remember to prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt. There were four key witnesses in this case. Two of them are deceased. Um, that obviously creates some hurdles for us. Well, Monterey County prosecutors say they plan to talk with the victim's children next week and get their thoughts on how they would like prosecutors to proceed. The appellate ruling becomes final at the end of this month if the state doesn't appeal it and prosecutors decide not to retry Sagan he could be out in less than four months from a San Diego area prison. Jack Sagan turns 74 next month. Interesting case. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Felix. If Jack Sagan is released from prison, he may be entitled to compensation. According to his attorneys, California is one of 33 states that compensates for wrongful convictions. State pays $140 for every day an inmate is in prison. In Sagan's case, he might be entitled to more than $1.6 million. However, the process to collect could take up to five years.